Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel, and today I'm bringing to you my August TBR. So my August TBR wasn't actually going to be big enough for a video. August is either going to be the worst or the best month of my life so far. Like, I have flights to see Cole, if you're unaware, if you've stumbled upon this video and you aren't sure who I am. Um, I am in a long distance relationship with a guy from the US and I'm in the UK. So COVID has really put a, I don't know, a nice, it's put a bit of a strain on our relationship. So I am supposed to be flying out there at the end of August. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, but in the odd tiny percentage that it will, I didn't want to commit to reading too many books. I now have a 16 book TBR for you. Um, so Laura has been amazing through this. I will link Laura's Twitter in the description, but she is co-running a um, book club group over on Facebook called Once Upon a Bookish Group. I, God, I hope I've got that right now. Um, and she is hosting a challenge through the month of August, which is a top of the pops reading challenge. Um, with 16 prompts. So I've planned my TBR for that. I have picked a lot of Kindle books, which I have like really been struggling to get through. Most of them are net galley arcs that have just been around for a long time. Um, so I, I did enjoy making this TBR. It's put a little bit of a brightness on what might be an awful month for me. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank Laura for all her efforts on that because it's really, really helped me out. Um, so without further ado, I will go through my TBR. Some of these are buddy reads, some of these, uh, we've got the Sisters Approximately book club pick for the month and all of them I managed to fit into the Top of the Pops challenge. So I'm really happy about that. It's also running as a competition with points um, for those of us in the Facebook group. So all the challenges give you between 25 and 150 points for completing the prompt. So I'm gonna try and run through them from least points to most points. Um, but I really don't know how that's going to work. I've done what I think are some really cute journal spreads with my TBR. Um, that's not going to pick up well on camera, but I put a lot of effort in. So yeah, I'm going to run through those and editing me is going to hate this because I'm also filming this the day before I want to put it up, which I never ever do. So good luck editing Chloe. <laughs> so I am going to have to look at my notes for this just because I don't want to get anything wrong. Um, the first prompt for 25 points is summer of 69 read a book set in the summer or a beach read. So I've gone for The Summer of 98 by Tay Murley. This is a net galley arc that I have and it's taken me a very long time to pick it up. It was in my June TBR, I wanna say, maybe May, and I didn't even reach for it. Um, but it's on my Kindle, that means, that should mean that I get round to it much more easily but we will see. I don't know anything about it apart from the fact it has summer in the title, so I'm assuming it's set in the summer, um, and it's some form of contemporary romance. Um, apart from that, I don't know. I know that I've already missed the publication date. I'm pretty sure it was a couple of days ago, um, so I won't be reading it before it comes out, ever so sorry, um, but my net galley ratio really needs some work, so time to read that one. Very similar story for the next one. The next prompt for 25 points is Born in the USA, read a book set in America or by an American author. So I've gone for The Out Crowd by Michael Kirby, which is another net galley arc. This one, I have literally no memory of requesting and seeing it, I wouldn't request it. So I was really confused on that one, um, but it is bringing my ratio down. So guess what needs reading? I looked into it, it is under 200 pages long and it does have pretty bad reviews. Um, so I'm intrigued and I feel like 200 pages is not too much time to invest in a book if it's a bit bad, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, with this one, I am assuming it's set in America because it looks like an American football team and some cheerleaders on the front, which we definitely don't have in the UK. The next prompt for 25 points is Mr. Blue Sky, read a book with a blue cover, which is the first physical book on my TBR, which is The Disappearances by Gemma Malley. So this was technically on my Reading Rush TBR, it is the second book in the Killables series. And right now, it's right here, I am reading The Killables for the Reading Rush. Um, 
even though I was supposed to read the disappearances, just because I couldn't remember what happened in the Killer Balls at all. So pushed this one into August, which has worked really well because it has a blue cover. So if I just grab the Killer Balls, this book is about a town which is actually dystopian London, which I completely missed when I first read it. Um, where everyone is labelled on terms of how evil they are. So the rating everyone wants is an A, but you can have A, B, C, D, D meaning deviant, and they get beat up in the streets, um, and K is the worst rating, and nobody knows what K means. I'm gonna... It's, it's called the killer balls. We're, we're all... We can all work that out. Um, but yeah, it's really, really intriguing. I've read this a couple times now, and on my reread, I'm like, still going. I'm hoping to finish this after I film this video. Um but I've never moved on with the series. So finally getting to book number two is an aim. So I really, really wanna read this one. What I believe is the last prompt for 25 points is Run the World, read a book with a female main character. Um, so I've gone for My Sister the Serial Killer by a name I'm now going to research how to pronounce. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go with Oyinkan Braithwaite. I've tried, I'm so sorry, I'm so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that, really, really sorry if it's wrong, but that is Our Sisters Approximately Book Club pick for the month. It's a pretty short book, which we felt like we needed after reading Ninth House and then The Diviners, they were both chunky books. So we've gone for a smaller book this time. I know literally nothing about this book, apart from the fact it is YA, um, thriller, and the main, sister's, sis, main character's sister is a serial killer. That is literally all I know and I don't want to go into it thinking about more because I want to be completely blind. So that is fit into the TBR nicely. So next we're on to the prompts for 50 points. Um, the first one being the one and only, read a book with a one word title. So I've gone for a book that was gifted to me by Emily from Novar Novels and that is Liarbird by Cecilia Ahern. Why am I bad at pronouncing this today? So this is like a standard chick lit story. Um, Emily read it and said I would really like it. So this is about Laura whose um, father dies and um, following the death of her father, Laura Button's hidden life in remote West Cork is revealed. Encountering her by accident deep in the woods, Solomon Fallon feels an instant connection. So I'm not gonna read more than that. It is like a chunkier book and the writing's quite small on the pages. Um, but Emily gifted this to me. She said I'd enjoy it. So I feel like really bad if I don't get to it soon. So I managed to fit that into my TBR. Next is um, Billie Jean, read a book with a name in the title. So I've gone for Grace is Gone by Emily Algar. This is another net galley arc. It's another one that was on my May slash June TBR. And I just haven't got round to it yet. Um, I had to look what it was about when I did that TBR, so I'm not going to do it again, and I've completely forgotten again. I know that it's a thriller. That's all I can tell you. I know I have missed the release date by potentially a year. Um, this has been on my net galley for so, so long, and I nearly really, really, really need to get it read, so it's on the TBR. Um, next, 450 points, um, can't get you out of my head, read a book that you're really excited to read. So for this one, I've gone for Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer, which I have pre-ordered and it should be arriving at some point in August. I really hope it arrives near the start. I can't, I don't even know when it's supposed to come out. Is it the 5th, the 4th? Um, but I will be reading this as soon as it arrives. There, I, I can't wait a second longer for more Twilight content. Um, I did check Goodreads and it looks like it's nearly 700 pages long which normally I think you can't get enough Twilight, but I feel like that might be too much Twilight. Either way, really excited to read it. I pre-ordered it the day I could when it was released, so I can't wait to get around to it. Um, next we have It's My Life, so read a non-fiction book. Um, I've gone for A Bit of a Stretch by Chris Atkins, which is another Net Cali book that I haven't got around to yet. So all I know about this one is it is a non-fiction about prison life. Um, and it was really intriguing to me. Um, it was pretty much when I started listening to true crime, I saw this book on NetGalley and decided to give it a go. And I have left it a long time. I think it's also a very short one. Um, it's on my Kindle, it needs reading. So I need to try and get it read. The next one for 50 points is What Makes You Beautiful? Read a book with a beautiful cover. Um, and I have gone for Eve of Man by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher because we have this lovely gold cover and we pull it back and there's like, look at this, it's amazing. 
Um, this book I have mixed feelings about and it's not the book's fault at all. So this book comes with like really, I don't want to say traumatic, but I'm going to say traumatic um, experiences with my ex, um, which I'm going to talk about. Um, but this was used, this particular book was used as like a manipulation thing. So I keep looking at it on my shelves and I want it gone. Um, but I also really want to read it. So I do think that if I read this and enjoy it, I am going to have to get rid of this copy and just love it from, from my memories rather than hold on to it. Uh, I, I, I don't even know what to say, but it's been on my shelf for so long. Especially if I don't like it, I need to read it and get rid because it's just like a memory that I don't need and it's not the book's fault at all. So going on to the book, it is a dystopian, Is it's a YA dystopian. It says, Eve is 16 and special. She lives alone in the tower under the strict gaze of the mothers because she is the last girl on earth. Now it's time for Eve to face her destiny. Three males have been selected and the future of humanity lies in her hands. She's always accepted her fate until she meets Bram. Um, it sounds amazing. It sounds like everything I want in a book. So yeah, um, let's stop talking about this one, but it needs to be read. So that is all the prompts for 50 points. Um, I've literally, I'm just flicking through my bullet, my bullet journal, it's not a bullet journal, my journal spread. Um, the first one for 75 points is A Million Love Songs, read a book with a romantic relationship. So I've gone for my buddy read with Emily at Novar Novels, which is The Switch by Beth O'Leary. This is from the author of The Flat Share, and that is literally all I know about it. Um, I've tabbed it up, ready for my buddy read with Emily, which we're starting on the 1st of August. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. The cover is gorgeous. The naked book is gorgeous. Um, and I can't wait to read it. It says Lena is too young to feel stuck. Eileen is too old to start over. It's time for a switch. So I'm not going to read any more. I want to go in blind. Um, but The Flat Chair is definitely one of my favourite books of this year. So when this was released, I grabbed it on Amazon. I had it on a really, really good deal. Um, and I can't wait to read it, neither can Emily, so August is the month. Next for 75 points is Queen of the Night. Read a book with a word connected to royalty in the title or about royalty. So I have gone for Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This was mine and Brittany's read through of Cassandra Clare's works, pick for July. Um, but we pushed it a bit, we both had, well, Brittany more than I. I have had a pretty boring month in July, but Brittany had quite a busy month. Um, so she didn't think we'd get round to this. So we pushed it to August. And even if she has to push it again, I'm definitely going to read it in August because it fits this prompt perfectly with Princess in the title. This is the third and final book of the Infernal Devices series. I believe, I don't know whether any of her newer stuff links back to the Infernal Devices. It potentially does, but it might be called a different series. I'm completely lost with Cassandra Clare's books that being the reason for our read through of them. Um, so I can't really tell you too much about this um, because it's the third in that series, but this is about shadow hunters who are part angel and kill demons. And this book specifically, um, this series specifically has Tessa who can shapeshift and no one really knows why. And that is pretty much all I can say. And I can't wait to read this one. Okay, another one for 75 points is Someone's Watching Me. Read a thriller, mystery or spooky book. So this one I've gone for my buddy read with Christina. So that's Christina Campbell. Um, I will link her YouTube in the description because she's like just started out booktuber and I think she's absolutely great. Um, we're reading The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. Uh, again, starting on the 1st of August. I have this really cool edition with red sprayed edges that I cannot wait to read. Um, I read In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware relatively recently and didn't love it. And I know a lot of people say this one is so much better. So I can't wait to find out if that is true. Um, again, I know pretty much nothing apart from what I said in my haul when I got this book really recently, but I've now forgotten what I said in the haul. Um, I like to go into thrillers blind, so I'm gonna stay blind and I can't wait to get red card bleh, words today. I can't wait to get to this one and it will be happening because I'm buddy reading it. So onto the prompts for a hundred points. The first one, uh, pop music, read a book with song lyrics in the title. And I've gone for a book called Ride Baby Ride by Vivian Arend. Um, I'm doing a project, read project, 
a video, a reading challenge, I don't know, reading cowboy romances because I am obsessed with the idea that my boyfriend is a cowboy. He really isn't, he's just American, owns a cowboy hat and his name is Colton and a lot of cowboy romances have that name. Um, so this one is another cowboy romance called Ride Baby Ride and I knew that was a song lyric but I couldn't work out what it's from. It's from Meant To Be by however you say their name, Bebe Rexa? Dunno. But I love that song. Um, and I love that specific bit of the song. I'm not going to start singing so you can you can google it if you're not sure. Um, but yeah, or I don't know anything about this. It's cowboy romance. Um, I've been reading cowboy romances and I am glad that I'm carrying on with it. Another one for 100 points. My favourite, favourite song ever, Bohemian Rhapsody. Read a book over 500 pages. I don't think there could have been a prompt more suited to that song. Um, I've gone for Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead, which is the sixth and final book in the Vampire Academy series. I have been personally doing a reading challenge, I guess, of one Vampire Academy book a month. So this is the final book. I cannot wait to read it. Um, I can't wait to see what happens. It's also huge. It's like 600 pages long, I want to say. Um, let's have a look, 584. So it's a big book. Cannot wait to read it. Um, can't say much about it because it is the last book in the series. Um, apart from the fact that it is about a vampire species I guess called the Maroi who have protectors called the Dampiers. Rose is a Dampier, her best friend Lissa is a Maroi and they go to the Vampire Academy pretty much. It's a good time, it's cheesy, it's cringy, it's back from, so this book is from 20, well I can't find it, 2010. It's proper cheesy old YA paranormal and I absolutely love it. Next one for 100 points is Simply the Best. Read a book with a rating on Goodreads of 3.5 or higher. I've gone for The Illustrated Mum by Jacqueline Wilson, which is a book I put on my Kindle so, so long ago. Um, it was one of my favourite Jacqueline Wilson books back in the old days when I was like a preteen. Um, don't remember anything about it. It's Jacqueline Wilson. It's English children's greatness and I've realised how long this video is so I'm not going to say any more about it. And the final prompt for 150 points, this is the bonus prompt, is music. Read a book related to music. So I've gone for P.S. I Like You by Casey West, another one on my Kindle. Um, all I know about this is at one point in the story or the basis of this relationship is that two characters are writing song lyrics and they like exchange them and the next person adds a line. I googled YA books related to music and this one came up and I've had it on my Kindle for a while so I need to get to it. So those are all the books I'm reading in August. As I said, August is going to be a challenging month for me. I'm considering vlogging the month, um, especially, like I will be vlogging my time if I go to America. There will be daily vlogs of America because I just need all those memories to keep looking at like and I want to publish them for everyone because I feel like I go on about my relationship so much that you guys need to be included if you want to. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be vlogging if I do get to go to America. If not, I feel like it's going to give me motivation to actually be a human if I vlog things. Uh, so I think I'm going to vlog. Not 100%. Um, again, Laura will be linked in the description so you can go and give her some love because she is absolutely great. Um, Emily and Christina and Brittany, anyone I've mentioned will all be in the description. So go and check them out, give them some love. Um, but on that note, Thank you for watching this video. If you've read any of these books, reading any of these books, have these on your TBR, then let me know in the comments and we can have a chat about them. So thank you guys for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.